of the mesquite pods. We got the little beetles that get in there out. And they're ready to mill. All I'm really doing is cleaning up the little stems. If they have any. They should be uh, super dry. They should snap very easily. And these holes are little bugs that, like these little beetles that they get. I forget exactly what they're called right now. But these mesquite pods get these little beetles and they'll usually have these little holes and you dry them, you let the bugs get out and then you can eat them. If you have a hand mill, like a little mill crank, you can crank these out Make for Mayflower. This is a tiny bit of what's left. When you're collecting these, um, unless it's your house, you don't want to be collecting them off of the ground. You don't know if a dog peed on them or if they've been sprayed with Roundup Killer. So, you want stuff that's been sprayed with anything. So I, I usually collect them from the same tree, keep the same tree in the same bag kind of deal. They all have different flavors and you want to taste them before you harvest you want to get them before they get rained on don't collect them if they've been rained on they get a fungus that you can't see and that fungus can get you sick if they're not dry enough they're gonna they're gonna gum up the hammer mill or your hand mill so you want them to be super dry like they're just literally snapping as I'm lightly pushing them in. And that's what we're going for. This is a super abundant food crop in the Sonoran Desert. Think about how many truckloads one tree, one mature tree could, could produce in the course of a season. It's a good amount. So you just gotta be on top of the timing. And all I'm doing at this stage is I'm just getting the stuff like it's a little it's a little dark on that tip, so I'm cleaning them up. Like see that right there? I'm gonna clean that off. Get that off. So this is a great example of native foods. Mesquites can survive off of rainwater. They have a wide range in the desert. And they're super easy to grow, harvest, process. Like anybody could do this. And minimal labor The reason I really like mesquite is because this is a native grain that you could very feasibly feed yourself with and it requires very minimal labor. The what what you have to do is you have to plant the rain. You have to install a rainwater harvesting earthwork, plant the rain, and there you go your your tree is gonna thrive in that earthwork it's gonna produce um, good soil and a canopy that you can grow other beneficial plants underneath you can have your worm bins underneath it 
you can do all kinds of stuff underneath it and after you establish it you know the first couple years you're gonna have to water it during the dry summer after that first year uh, it's gonna be surviving solely off of rainwater and you're gonna be getting a whole bunch of benefits like some of the benefits some of the benefits we're gonna be getting is it's gonna attract native songbirds it's gonna produce these edible beans right here it's gonna produce uh, nitrogen in our soil it's gonna add nitrogen to our soil through the leaf drop through the root system through any pods we let fall and decompose on the ground it's gonna attract beneficial pollinators if you have bees it'll feed them so a lot of pluses the main one for me is this is a tangible food crop that you can grow on production with rainwater in our environment so yeah you could put in a fruit tree and get some fruit um, everything is seasonal i guess right this is seasonal too but you're not going to be able to do that off of rainwater here so what system is actually more sustainable more resilient one that is based off of this or one that is based off of figs and pomegranates and what we consider food because we've we uh, have lost our connection to the desert and don't recognize this as a viable food crop, as a viable food that we can actually eat and survive off of. And, you know, you can make pancakes with this stuff. You can make tortillas with this stuff. You can make atole, like a porridge. You can make muffins, bread. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. We're overlooking the basics. You know, this is one of the basics here. Basic foodstuffs. You know, and this is uh, not even a lot. This is towards the how end of the season you keep your trees separate you taste your trees you can chew on these to do a little taste test see where they're at if you want to harvest them or not and if you have a lot of bitter trees that would be good firewood start replacing them with good tasting trees Got a little half gallon worth the pods. Last of the season. It hasn't been raining, so I went ahead and harvested them and dried them. 